Welcome back to Ride and Glide. Today we have Nami's smallest model in the range, the Klima. Oh my god! Oh yes! I don't even know where we're going. Absolutely on point. Go. The Nami Klima is a 60 volt, 30 amp hour battery, 1000 watt motors, but it's a 10 inch tired scooter. So the Bernie was the 11 inch big beast. The Nami Blast is 11 inch as well. This is the only 10 inch scooter in the range. So let's do the deep dive and check it out. Now for you guys that aren't interested in the specs, we just want to see the performance. We're going to be doing speed runs. We're going to be doing races. We're going to do hill climb. We're going to do brake tests. We're going to do acceleration. Stay tuned and you'll see that all later in the video. Let's start down below like we always do. We have 10 by three inch CST road tires. These are brilliant for grip. Obviously, if you're going to be racing the scooter, you can use PMTs or something like that. For a standard tire on a scooter, these are really high quality. We use CSTs on a lot of the scooters we ride, and they've always been brilliant for us. Housed inside the tires are the 1000 watt brushless hub motors. These are so quiet because of those sine wave controllers and so smooth. So, so, so. I say so, so many times. So an upgrade on the motors from the original Nami's, we have these cooling fins added to the outside. They're aesthetically more pleasing than they used to be, but can also dissipate heat quick, um, dissipate heat faster, and therefore they can cool down to go for longer. So a really nice feature for Nami. They're also better sealed than the original uh, motors that they used on their original scooters. So although they were very good at keeping water out, these are even better. Now these motors, are hopefully going to produce 40 plus miles per hour, but it's not necessarily the top speed we're interested in with this scooter. Michael Shah assures us that the torque is going to be absolutely on point. So they might have sacrificed a little top end to get that pull away much faster. We will be testing that out shortly. On top of the tire, you can see we've got the dual design of the fender, like on the Bernie before. The rear kicking down there. We've always found these pretty good. We've taken them in all sorts of conditions and they've kept us dry um, and kept all the mud and muck off us. Uh, some people aren't so sure about them, they're not so keen on the design, but actually this with the tire hugger design on the back looks very, very good uh, for keeping muck off you, but we will test that as well. Swing arms come up here. What I'd like you to take a look at is the motor cable. Can you see that here? Quick connect. First of all, these connectors are all IP55 rated, so don't worry about that. But also, if there is an issue or if you need to change the tire, you can just connect it here. It makes it so much easier than having to run it all back through into the controllers here. So a very nice feature from Nami. Well done for doing that. It makes customers' lives so much easier. Coming back up here, we can see we've got the new lights on the back now. Now this is a new feature. So just above the fenders there, I'm gonna turn the scooter on now. We are on. I'm gonna press the lights at the top, which we'll show you shortly. And the rear light comes on. So you have an LED strip round here. So on the blast, on the Bernie, you obviously have it round here. On the back, you have it there. Now it will press the brake lever. It intensifies. Not sure if you can see from there, we'll do a close up. Not only that, it also incorporates the indicators. So you can see there, click on and off at the um, control panel at the top, indicators on and off. What else is new on here? So here we have the KKE coil shocks rebound adjustable just like in the bernie before these are brilliant you can set them for the terrain you're riding off-road on road whatever it is you're doing or on hard surfaces or uneven surfaces or even if you're a heavier rider you can set that preload so it gives you the feel that you want well done nami well I haven't managed to find many better suspension systems on e-scooters than nami provide on there we will put these to the test as well being a smaller scooter we'll see how it copes with off-road riding and riding at speed Connected to the top of the suspension here, we have a footrest. This is also different. So the original Nami's had the handle here, big handle. These have got a nice solid footrest for that riding style. I'm looking forward to riding this. This looks like my kind of scooter. It's compact, streamlined, long enough to make you feel safe. Handlebars are wide enough to make you feel safe. And this deck, big enough that I can get my foot back there, one on the front to get into that nice locked in style the way that I like to ride. A lot of riders like to ride if you're riding a bit more aggressively, a bit faster. So we've talked about the new footrest at the back, which also acts as a handle. So if you were going to pick the scooter up, now it is 36 kilos. The old Bernies, obviously, or the originals, are more closer to 50 kilos. So this is a lot lighter as well, being a smaller scooter. So if you are going to pick up, you'd pick from under here, under here, and lift. Now, that actually isn't too heavy. Obviously, 36 kilos isn't light but that's very manageable, especially if you get into the boot of the car or something like that, up a few steps. That is much more manageable than the huge Bernie, obviously the biggest model in the Nami range. 
What I really like about this is the battery comes in a completely sealed unit with the deck. That makes it really water resistant. So it's got a really good IP rating. Also, I like the deck design. You've got Kalima written at the back. We'll show you that in a close up. Nami Electric on the grip tape, nice big piece of grip tape. And in this Max version, because we've got the Kalima Max, is the 30 amp battery, 21700 cells, LG battery. So 60 volt, 30 amp, 21700 cells. In the smaller one, you can also get just the Nami Klima, not the Mac. They have a 25 amp battery in that, and that will be Chinese cells. Those are the only differences between the two. We've gone for the bigger one because we want to go as fast as we possibly can, and as far as we possibly can. Moving forward along the deck, you'll see down below here, it's one piece aluminium. Aircraft grade, as always, really nice welds, very neat. You can often tell the strength of a product or the quality of a product, I should say, by how it's welded. If the welds are messy, not looking neat, that might give you reason to question the overall quality of the scooter. But here they do focus on every little detail. So wherever they can, they make it as neat as possible. I've just noticed there's a tiny little Nami logo on the back of the footrest here, which is a really cool feature. Hopefully, hopefully the camera can pick that up. So we move past the battery up to the beginning of the neck of the scooter. Now here is where the controllers are housed. Two 40 amp sine wave controllers with IP65 rating. So a really good water resistance rating. We've seen the Bernie, they have the 50 amps. These 40 amps are so smooth. Nami are a joy to ride. They are so smooth, but they're really, really silent as well. And it's because of these beautiful controllers, the way they're configured. Thank you, Michael Shah. Thank you, Nami. Your products are incredible. I hope this is gonna be the same, and I'm sure it will be, because it already looks fantastic. So coming up here, we've got the controller cover here. Nami logo on there. Now this is plastic, this part, whereas the rest is metal. And we also have the charger port. This is a sprung loaded cap here with a tiny Nami logo on top as well. So another little cool feature, they're just adding their bits of branding all over it. It's just, uh, when you look back to the first designs of Nami on the Bernies and stuff, they've come a long way and they're just starting to tweak things. It's, it's lovely to see. Sprung loaded, they've changed to a two pin charger. I'm not sure why, um, but the, now, they now come rather, rather than coming with two chargers, they now come with one fast charger. So it's not a problem just having one charge port. It's gonna be a 10 hour charge time if you had a standard charger, but it's only a five hour charge time approximately um, to fully charge with the fast charger, which will be a 60 volt, five amp charger. We've talked about this aviation grade forged aluminium one piece frame here. You can see we've got the front swing arm down here and we've got the front suspension in here. Coming down the swing arm, we've spoken about the tires and the motors, etc. but what you couldn't see at the back is the brakes. Now these are two piston Logan brakes. Very, very nice. They used to come with the nut, the original We've had a go on these already with the two piston Logan on other scooters and they're very, very good. We we're obviously gonna put them to the test here, but it's a nice addition. I would say that's an upgrade from Nut. Hydraulic disc brakes are my favorite. There will be an element of regen as well on the braking with the two motors, but it's really important if you've got a very fast scooter or a high performance scooter to have decent brakes and this looks like it does. We will zoom in on the back as well to show you the brakes at the back, but as you can see there, you've got them with those big 160 mil discs as well, and that adds to the braking power. So the bigger the disc, the more surface area the brake pad's gonna cover, gonna give you more bite. Okay, moving up the neck, we've got some neat cable wrap here. We've got the front motor fast connector here, which again, brilliant feature. So if you have a problem with the motor or you just need to change the tire, it's a quick pop in, pop out, rather than all the way back down. What you will notice that is different from the Bernie is the locking mechanism on the stem. We now have a clamp, whereas we used to have the spinning mechanism, which the new Bernies still have. This has a clamp, so we're gonna do a close up, but I'll open that for you there. Single nut at the bottom, rather than a double. That then lifts up. So I've unlocked that clamp with my hand. That lifts up, and the neck folds down. What I quite like is that it doesn't go all the way down and smack on the deck like the old Bernies used to, so it stops there. It doesn't lock in, however, which is a little bit annoying, but there's no need to be folding these up and down all the time. We move our scooters around a lot in vehicles and we very rarely have them locked in, usually because you have to try and fit them into place. But nice and easy. So we lift back up, slide that back down, very straightforward, and then clamp back on. One thing you will notice is that the stem, and we'll do a close up, is not a carbon fiber anymore like the Bernie. This feels very solid, but I do miss it a little bit. I like the design of the carbon fiber, but for whatever reason, they've chosen to change that, but it's absolutely rock solid, and we will also be putting that to the test. So again, at the front, you can see we've got this front fender with the Nami logo just on top. So another bit of branding there from Nami. Everything looks smooth, everything looks sleek. I actually prefer the look of this to the Bernie. This is, 
I think this is my favorite Nami out of the three. As I've said before, I like that 10 inch scooter, you know, the Vissette 10 Plus, that kind of thing. It's just rapid, it's small. It's not so heavy that it's a big lump. You know, the Nami's like the kind of Rolls Royce, whereas this will be more like the little speed stuff, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I don't know what I mean. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move up to the top and show you the handlebars. So now we've come up to the handlebars. What we'll do first is press the power button, which is gonna turn on the display there. We're gonna do a close up of that for you. But what NAMI have done is they've improved the display brightness. So when you're out in the dark or in the very bright light, you are still going to be able to see the display clearly. On some of the older models, there was that glare when the sun hit it and you couldn't see it at all. This is different, they've really improved that. The functionality of the display is exactly the same as previous models, so you can check all of the P settings and that kind of thing uh, that we've already done because there are, it appears, no changes at all. The standard setup of the buttons is the same, so you go plus and minus, that takes you through the rider modes, which are customizable, so you can have them very tame, or obviously extremely aggressive if you want to. With all NAMIs though, that from our experience, even in the most aggressive setting, still ride very, very slowly if you want to. So it's a really, really customizable scooter. Coming around to this side, and we'll do a close up again, we have the 2000 lumen front headlight. This is excellent. It really lights up um, the whole way in front of you. Really good safety feature. That coupled with the brake lights means that you are gonna be safe even in the dark. You're gonna be seen and you are gonna be able to see. So brilliant for safety. Now. New little feature just on the buttons over here, which are the lights, is now the LEDs on the mini control panel here actually work. So when you press the light, you get a little blue light come on there. So you know if they're on, when you press the indicator, you can see the little indication there. Green light comes on either side and then you can click it off. So you realize it's on, you can just click it off. Horn, oh, so loud, but it's useful having a loud horn. What you can't see there, but we'll do a close up as again, is how neat these cables are. They're quick connector cables, IP55 radius. They've all got the uh, water resistance rating, which is excellent. And if anything, you have problems with anything, they've actually got shrink wrap on them as well, just to give them extra protection uh, and to make them neater. But if you have problems with anything, you can just pop them undone, try a new throttle, try a new display, say you had an issue with the display, whatever, very, very quickly. Again, you don't have to wire it all back down. Or if you just want to upgrade, it's super quick and easy. So well done, Nami. Thank you for doing these extra bits, which is what makes Nami as a company really special. They do actually think about everything or try to think about everything um, that they're doing and how they're doing it to make it easier for the customer. Now, we've talked about the brakes. We'll do a close-up of them as well. Feels like a two or three um, finger lever here, which I like. Hydraulic brakes, as we've discussed already. Nice ergonomic grips. They're very, very comfortable. But we do still have the same throttle. Now, I really like the throttle. There's, there is a dead spot in it, though. So what that means is, can you see I'm pressing there? When it gets to a point, then it bites. So there is some dead room. Look, I'm flicking it in there. I like that. It gives me a bit of time to realize what I'm doing rather than it just shooting off. Some people don't. Obviously, you can change that if you like. But as you felt there, when it bites, it wants to go. You can't hear it. Those controllers just make it so silent. We've gone through all of this. Please check out the P settings on our previous video. So do look at that for how you set up your scooter and all the different parameters that you can change. Um, but the basics are plus and minus, change your remotes. And then if you use, say, the power button, that will go through your odometer, your voltage, things like that. And then your mode will change the things on here. So your average speed, if whether you see your range, that kind of stuff. So just the simple stuff, but there are some really good P settings there that you can mess around with to change performance of your scooter. Check in mode to temperatures, things like that. Really, really cool. We also have the 700 mil handlebars, which is an addition. They used to be smaller than that. That makes it very stable and secure. So this really is like the Nami Bernie Mini. It's a mini version of that super beast. And as we've said, they've tried to up the torque, which is gonna take the top speed down just a little bit for a 10 inch scooter. So what we're gonna get with that is a really quick scooter off the line. We're gonna put that to the test, race it against a load of other scooters, do the top speed run and all that off-roading and everything. Stay tuned to find out more. Let's get out there. So we've made it out. It is time to test the Nami Klima in the elements. First off, we're hitting the trails. My favorite, let's go. We're off to the woods, we're off to the woods. I'm so excited. The suspension on it feels good already. It's so bouncy, so springy. I've set it nice and soft so it can take some impacts. Some of the bigger, bigger mounds, big chunks of mud. Hopefully we can get a little bit of air off something if we find, find a little kicker. Oh, the sun shining. The wind's in my hair, not really, because I've got a helmet on but I imagine the wind would be in my hair if I didn't have a helmet on. 
Oh, here we go. So, there's so many flints out here. There's been a lot of rain. It's washed all the muck away. But it's made it very, very slippery on the surface and very flinty. But you can already feel the power of this thing. Not like the Bernie where you've got the big wheels. It feels like it's going to plow through everything. This is more nimble. I can feel the bumps a bit more with those smaller tires, but the acceleration, because it's lighter, still feels really fast. So you're there. You're quite a way away from me. I'm not even in X mode. And look how quick I can catch up to you. Whoa! And back. But it's a bit dangerous. Don't want to go too quick yet. We're going to go and find some nice trails and hit them hard. Oh, it's handling so well. We haven't even got off-road tyres on. Just diving through the leaves, back onto the paths. Acceleration's lovely, like I said. Oh, look, little turn here. Oh, let's get down here. Oh, this is nice. You've got to really be careful, pay attention to what ground you're on, because it's so wet underneath. You see the wheels sliding out there. Racing off. Here we go, little trail. Woo! I think we picked the wrong way. Oh, so slimy. Oh, we're gonna get to the path. Freedom. Whoa. Oh my God. Man down, camera ran down. That was so muddy. Obviously with the slicks on, that's not super fun. Well, I'd say that is super fun. It's not super easy. We're gonna head up this trail and try and find some more spots. Let's go. Woo! So I'm on the dry ground now. Going about 10 mile an hour. So I'll put it back in X mode because I like the acceleration. Oh, it's still slippery though. Yeah, 12, 15. That's quite a nice cruising speed. On the rocks now, that's a bit better. Flat, hard, these slicks. Oh, loving it. Look at that view behind. Wow. This is so nice. We missed this. The suspension's eating up the bumps. I'm what, 85 kilos, five kilos of gear on. It's about 90 kilos of weight on here. And it feels great. It's not like the Bernie with that massive suspension that sort of absorbs everything. You do feel it. You feel the bumps and the lumps, but you can just adjust the way that you're steering, the way that you're moving with those smaller wheels. Look how deep these ruts are. Get that camera down low. Can you see how deep these ruts are? <laughs> Look at this. It's eating it up. That suspension's working really hard. I can feel it bouncing up and down. Cut across. Oh, wow. Come this way, Tobes. We've found a crater. There's this cool little drop here. <laughs> Got to lean right back and it's steep. <laughs> Hit this little drop. Whoa! And out we go. I can, I can make it! Whoa! Yes! We're coming back. We're coming back for more. Where did I come up? Just down here. Oh, it's so slippery because of the lead. Whoa! And up! Yes! That was sick! That is so much steeper than it looks. Oh. <sighs> wow, this is tiring. That was so much steeper than it looked. I feel like I'm an extreme rider now. I mean, in reality, it's like four foot high, but... But no, but look, come down with me, come down. Loads of leaves, you can't see where you're going. I'm below you, that's a good seven foot now. Hit the lip. Did you see the air I got off that? <laughs> At least like six foot, do you reckon? Three foot? Two, Two foot? Did my back wheel leave the ground? No? Just. A bit. I'm hitting it again. One more hit. I'm getting air off that. I'm trying to hit this sweet jump, dude. <laughs> I'm so scared. I can't hit any sweet jumps. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. There's a serious steep climb there. I'm gonna try and test the traction. I know we've got slicks on, we need off-road tires, and it's really wet, but look at it. Walk down there, or one wheel down there, go and check out that climb. I'm just about to hit it. Get yourself down there. Good one wheeling, good one wheeling. You ain't gonna get out there, sucker. Yeah. 
This is a steep climb here for this Klima. Here we go. Full blast. Oh no! Did you see that? Where did that come from? The state of that. That could have killed me. I'm going again. I didn't see that. We should probably check the trail before we go. Pick my line, pick my line. Get some acceleration. Oh yes! That was so nice. Oh, <laughs> that is such a nice climb. Right, let's see what else we can find. Did I get any air off the top of that? A bit. Can you watch me do one and see if I can get some air? Could be trashing it here. Oh my God, got to pick your line. Got to pick your line. <laughs> Little bunny hop. <laughs> see if you can do one off the ground. Oh no, not so much. Oh, we've been messing around in that bowl. That was so much fun. I'm getting smacked in the face by loads of branches and hitting all sorts of roots on the ground. But to be fair, it's handling it. We haven't broken it yet. This is just full of leaves, this ground. Look, there's massive tree stumps coming. Look how bouncy we are. <laughs> Wheelie time. Oh, that dug in. It doesn't get better than this. Golden hour. Sun setting or near sunset. Trails are drying out. Sun is shining. It's so nice. Look at this little sludge pit. Way up there. Look, hack out the hill. Leave the cameraman. Let him catch up. Oh, smash me in the face. Go and put my goggles back on. Mucky, mucky. Oh, I'm in the ruts. I'm in the ruts. Look at this. Deep ruts. Deep ruts. Oh, we're out. I don't even know where we're going. Woo! Oh, yes. Yes. Just hang on. Just hang on for dear life. Oh. No. I thought I was going to come on. Remember, I've got slicks on here. Jesus! Oh my god, I'm so stunned. Look at the deer, look at the deer! Shouldn't shout, I'm scaring them. Oh, how unbelievable is that? Don't turn around, nearly fell over. Whoa! We're going 25 miles an hour and the deer are running with us. This is what it's all about. Oh, so I just flicked them and hit my shin. Ah! Oh my god, that was so much fun. Some, I hope the camera picked up some of the views we got when the deer were running across. It's just, I miss riding out in this kind of terrain so much. We haven't done it for ages. Look at the state of this. Come in close here. Can you see what we've done to this climber? Can you see? Don't, I don't recommend this, but we've abused it. We have to put it through these tests to see how well it copes. And at the moment, it's working perfectly. Now, let's get out of the mud and out of the mush. Let's hit the kill climb, then after that we're doing speed runs and races and all sorts of other stuff. Stay tuned for more. We're at the bottom of the hill. This is our takeoff spot, 200 meter uphill climb. We're trying to be the fastest 60 volt we've tested so far. I've got a feeling the climber's gonna do it. Can you just take a look down here at the state of this scooter though? We've hacked it off-road. Still performing well, but at 70% battery. Toby's at the top. He is the timekeeper as always. Three. Two, one, go. Oh, good start. There's so many potholes. It's so slippery. There's so many potholes. <laughs> that is so slippery. I'd look at, I don't know what's on the, on the ground, but it's like it's sludge or ice or something. I mean, it's freezing cold. That felt really fast. I was going 30 mile an hour up that hill or more but the bite when it took off, it got there so quick. Toby just told me we've done it in 17.8 seconds. Now, I can't remember the last video, but I'm sure that's beaten the Viset. I'm sure it has, and we're at 66% battery. So if that is true, we'll check on the table here. Incredible results from the cleaner again. On we go to the brake test, and then stay tuned for the speed runs and the versus races. Let's go. So now we are ready for the brake test. And what we do is go from 15 mile an hour, 25 kilometers an hour, down to zero, and see how quickly we can stop. Now the Klima has the two piston Logans on it. 
So I'm hoping for big things as it's a fairly lightweight scooter at 36 kg for a high performance scooter, but we will now see 15 mile an hour down to zero front and back hydraulics. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Okay, 14.7, 14 14.8, 14.9, 15. That's pretty quick. Now you can tell the ground is wet there. And we have very slick tires. So come round, come round. 15, we've got skid, both tires were skidding there. You can see how wet it is. Come down here. We have three meters and six centimeters to the front. Now that's not the quickest we've stopped on any scooter. But this is a bit heavier. Those brakes are very good, very good. It's super wet. I don't know if you can see, I know I've kept talking about it, and these tires we've annihilated, so they're pretty slick now. But to stop with just over three meters from 15 mile an hour is a very good distance. So well done, Nami. Keep it up, onto the races. So now we're gonna put the cleaner up against the Vset 10 Plus in a drag race over 100 and 200 meters. We have Dan on the Nami Klima, 60 volt, 30 amp, 40 amp controls. We've got Darren on the Vissette 10 Plus. We know how good a drag racer this is. This has the bigger motors, slightly smaller controllers. We are gonna test it over 100 meters and 200 meters. So they're not gonna stop till they hit 200. Dan weighing in at 100 kilos with his gear on. Darren weighing in at 96 kilos with his gear on. So he has a four kilogram advantage on the Vissette 10 Plus. Are you ready, boys? Three, two, one, go. That's an easy win. What happened? Uh, that was an easy win for the Klima. Okay. Uh, by a good couple of lengths. A couple of lengths, right. So yeah. the Klima won. Toby fulfilled his dream of being a, you know, what, a drag race girl? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know it was a dream either until I was there <laughs> waving it. <laughs> and I thought, this is we what I'm meant to be doing. This is what we do at Ryan and Glow. Yeah, it was go. dreams come true. Dream, dream factory. Now, what Darren did say, remember Darren was the lighter rider by four kilos on the Vissette 10 Plus. He didn't have a good start. So we were going to rerun the race to try again. Let's go. Three. Two, one, go. Oh. Toby! Hello. Okay, tell us, what happened? Uh, again. Another, I mean, if anything, that was an even bigger win for the Klima, I'd say. Klima wins again, right, okay. Probably a good a three lengths, I would say. You definitely got a better start that time, so that was a more fair race. What we're going to do this time is switch the riders over so it's totally even, okay? So can you guys get back to the start line and switch yeah. scoots? Stop writing those comments. No, but it is important. It, no, it's good. The people have spoken. They have. We will, we we will fulfill any request in the comments. Not any request <laughs> in the comments. <laughs> right, we're back at the start line. Darren is going to step off the Vissette 10 Plus and hit the cleaner. Dan is going to get on to the Vissette 10 Plus. Remember, Dan is four kilos heavier. If anything, this race should probably be more in favour of the Klima. Klima's won twice. We're about to go again. Are you ready, boys? Okay, round to the start line, please. Everyone ready yet? Yep. Sports mode on? Yep. Turbo mode on? Three, two, one, go. Toby. Yes. Please tell me. Here I am again. What happened? What, well, what do you think? Happened? It looked like the Klima took off quicker. Well, it looked like the Klima won again. It did. <laughs> oh, the not There's no way I can judge that. It doesn't seem to matter who's on it. So we've switched riders. We've done it twice with you on it, Darren, on the Vissette 10 Plus. Much faster? Yeah, off the line. So the riders are saying off the line, the Klima is much faster than the Vissette 10 Plus which is pretty hard to believe. As, as we know, the Vissette 10 Plus is an absolute monster. It's a beast. It's a beast. Okay, thank you for watching. Let's get on some more races. Now we're gonna put the Klima up against the Jultron Achilles. Three, two, 
one, race! Look how much he loves his job. Look at him, he holds his flag. He doesn't need to bring his flag back with him. But he loves holding the flag. All right, Tobes, you're Hello. too fast for the camera, mate. Sorry? I couldn't tell who won that race. That was, it was closer, but still, the cleaver had it. The cleaver, over the 200 meters. So Toby's standing at the 200 meter finish line. We're gonna show you the 100 meters as well. So I presume the cleaver was ahead at 100. Was it catching? Boys, was, it, was, the, was the Achilles catching the cleaver at the yeah, end? top end it was. Okay, so again, the Achilles has a faster top speed. So over the longer distance, it starts to catch. But that cleaver still won over 100 meters and 200 meters. Now what we're gonna do, because they did have both have quite a good start there, is switch riders to make it even. So boys, back on the start line, Toby, Back on the finish line, we're gonna switch riders and do it one more time. The boys are gonna switch vehicles now. Switch them up, boys. So we've got Dan, 100 kilos, going on the Achilles. I don't think this is gonna go well for the Achilles because it didn't win the first race and now we've added the extra weight, but we're doing it fairly. Darren, now four kilos lighter, is on the cleaner. We know that pulls away faster, but the Achilles will start to catch it. Can it catch it this time over the 200 meters? Boys, are you ready? Engines revved. Three, two, one, go! Halt, halt. Right, guys, just, just before, just before anyone says anything, <laughs> You had a terrible start. I, I, I was going to say, there, I could tell by the finish there were going to be some excuses. He smashed it, did way. he? This start just went, we just went this thing. Okay, we're going to have to rerun that race. Okay, yeah. Back to the start. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go! That was a much better start, but his big four kilo difference, his big booty, held it to the ground. And Darren, as you'll see from the other cameras up the track, has just smoked him again. So race three done, the boys are on their way back. Toby, you're at the finish line. Yes. What happened? Again, it was, uh, it's closer between these two, but the cleaner still has it. So both had the similar start, similar weight guys, 4kg in it, but we switched them over. The cleaner is winning over 200 meters, but it was getting closer towards the end when that Achilles is able to catch up with it over the longer straight, it does start to catch up, but that cleaner off the line, we, nothing can really beat it at the moment. Now it's time for the Klima against the massive 72 volt Jultron Thunder 2. Let's see what happens. Okay, we have Duncan on the Klima. The Klima has been performing excellently today and has been keeping up with even things like the Nami Blast. Duncan's got the 20 kg of extra weight on there because he needs to match the awesome weight of big boy Dan, who's now on the 72 volt Thunder 2 with over 10 thousand watts of peak power. This is the 100 meter drag race. Three, two, one, go. Oh, they're both spinning. Those little wheels on that 10 inch. Oh my God, the cleaner's beating it. The cleaner's beating it. I think the cleaner's won. I think the cleaner's won. <laughs> We've just done the first drag race between the little cleaner, the 10 inch wheels, 60 volts, 30 amp battery, 40 amp controllers against this over 10,000 peak power, 72 volt Thunder 2 and the cleaner's just beating it over a 100 meter drag. We're going for round two. Dan wants his revenge. Three, two, one, go. Wow, so much power. Can you see? I think the cleaner's still ahead. We've got to check out this footage from the finish line cam. I think the cleaner's just won that again. It's close. The boys have just got back. It looks like the Thunder 2 just picked the cleaner at the post. We won't know till we look at the shot from afterwards, but we're gonna do one final race. So it's gonna be a best of three. Cleaner's run the first. We think the Thunder 2 just pipped it on that one. This is the decider, boys. Are you both ready? We're ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Thunder 2 had a much better start that time. Thunder 2 had a better start. 
Oh my gosh, it's still neck and neck though. Oh my gosh. That is so close. That is too close to call. Let's wait till they get back, see what happened. Right, Dan, you're back. Yeah. <laughs> How was that? So Dan was riding the Thunder 2 and Dunk was on the Klima. Was that close? It was so close. That. Are you surprised? A very. That is a very quick little scooter. Well, why do you think it's so quick? It's how he's done the motors. What do you mean by how he's done the motors? What does that mean? It's the torque. It's what, so quick. What, off the line? Yeah. So was the Thunder, so the first one it lost, we saw that. Yeah. The second one was very tight. Yeah. And the third, you think you got him, but you definitely had a better start, didn't you? Yeah, much better start than the last one. Wow. Yeah. No, it's very, very What impressive. a machine, keeping up that little 60 volt, keeping up that big 72 yep. volt. That, that's got over 10,000 watts of peak power. Yeah. Hold on, let me nick that microphone off you. Tell us about- I told you, didn't I? I told you. <laughs> I told you, I told you. <laughs> when I rode that cleaner, I said the acceleration was superb, matching almost the burn E level. And uh, yeah, there you go, proved it. So it's not so quick, the top speed isn't so quick, obviously, but the acceleration is absolutely fantastic. So for a 60 volt, 10 inch wheeled scooter, have you ridden something that fast before no. off the line? No. no, wow. That's the top. Love to hear it. Number one. On we go, boys. We have a 72 kg rider. He's wearing six kilograms of safety gear. So that's 78 kg total. Hopefully he's heavy enough that that sticks him to the ground, gives him all the traction that he can get, but light enough that we can fly up to those top speeds. We're in full mode, X mode, turbo on, everything as high as it could possibly be to get the fastest speed possible. Let's see what it can do. Here we go on the Klima from the start, speed run, let's go. Oh, love that wheel spin. I can't keep up. Wow. And he's gone. Here's the man himself, Mr. Duncan. Dunk. Take your time. It's not like we're recording. <laughs> Fed up. Right, well, we know, we know, we know. Let's get to the, let's get down to business. We know this is not a 72 volt. This is a 60 volt. It's in the category of the Victors, the Mantises, that kind of stuff, the Vissets, the Apollo Phantoms, that kind of thing. What has Michael Shard done? How has it performed? <coughs> uh, he's taken all of the best bits about the Vernie. Yeah. And condensed them. <laughs> Refined them. Yes! into a smaller package. And this is, um, yeah, it's, it's got the stability, it's got the, the takeoff, the control, the throttle. The takeoff still. looked fast. It looked really fast the off the bar. The takeoff's really fast. I, when I first rode it, I thought, oh, that might be bigger, like, faster than the Bernie. What, when you first took off? Yeah, I thought, oh, I thought well, I hadn't ridden the Bernie for a few yeah. months, had I? But right. I thought, do you know what, that's, that's, that's quick. That could, off the like, first 10, Just off the line, meters. yeah, yeah, yeah fast if not fast. What about compared to other 60 volts that you've ridden? Oh, much faster. Really? Yeah, yeah, what? there's no, no doubt. Mm, what, even the set 10 plus? Mm, For, be... Well, I rode the 10 plus, what, a month or so ago? Yeah. I reckon this, this that would be the off the Really, line. off yeah. the line. Off what the about line. top speed? What did we get to? Ooh, is that 40, I think it's 42, 43 on the Four. speed, speedo. Yeah. Uh, so probably that's around about that, maybe a couple of miles per hour less. Yeah, so, we're, so, so it's built to go 45 miles per hour max, is okay. what I was told us. Is it limited? I don't know. It, fi it feels like... Well, there was more in the tank, was well, there? No, it well, maybe. It feels like it accelerates yeah. very, very fast. You get to like 42, 43. Yeah, because we're only 1,000 watt motors here. It's only a 60 volt battery. Uh, maybe they put all the all the energy into the acceleration. Into that torque. And then it's a the drag torque. racer. Yeah, exactly. But as I say, it's just, I, I think I prefer that. It's more refined, yeah. a bit like myself. <laughs> the, the, the Bernie's like Dan. Yeah, a bit, a bit big boy, a, a, a Dan the big brute. Boy. Yeah, the Bernie's a brute. All power. Whereas that's more refined. This is your, your gentleman's yeah, that's right. speed scooter. Speed stat. Did that, so it felt stable, it yeah, felt quality. It, oh, Everything it, they build feels quality, doesn't it? You've just it. got to look at it. Exactly. You look up close. And when you're going that speed, when you're going 40 plus miles per hour, you want something that feels like it's not going to fall apart. Yeah. Well, it's easy to make a scooter that's fast, isn't it? Massive, massive controllers, massive battery, massive motors. Doesn't mean it's going to ride well. Doesn't mean it's going to be safe. Exactly. You felt safe on that, yeah, didn't yeah, it? definitely, hundred percent. Yeah. Wow. So it's a win for me. And, uh, and the suspension, I w I'm still not sold on the aesthetics of it. Yeah. I think 
it, it's, it, it doesn't look as nice as the Bernie, my, my personal oh, okay. view. Okay, I actually quite like that. Do you? you come yeah, around yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, Maybe I'll come around to it, I'm not sure. Yeah. But the, it functions brilliantly. I think great. I'll just bob me along. What, even with the 10 inch tyres? You don't mind the 10 inch tyres? No, nope, absolutely fine. Yeah. Again, it's, you're, not going, you're not going so fast that becomes an issue. And do you, know, do you know what one of the best things about it is? It's super fast, but you can still pick it up. Yeah. It's not like the Bernie, you're like, ah, is it? It's actually like manageable. That's it. Yeah. Well done, Nami. Thank yeah, you once again, Duncan. Going skiing, you didn't break any bones. You're allowed to go now. Well, well done. you're driving home, so. Yeah, all right. Okay. It, well, I'm, not, I'm a good chance. driver, don't worry, I'm a good driver. Right. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. It actually hit 42 mile an hour on the GPS, so we didn't get up to that 45, but the acceleration is absolutely rapid. Come down to Riding Guide, have a go for yourselves. We'll see you next time.